Welcome back. One Nation is facing a storm of controversy this morning over its new domestic violence policy. The party says the Domestic Violence Act should be amended to make it gender neutral because of concerns about the number of men ending their lives due to family breakdown. One Nation's Queensland leader Steve Dixon joins us now. Good morning to you. Good morning, Deb. How are you going? I am well. You obviously have good intentions here. We know family breakdown can be devastating for both sides. But haven't you and One Nation just got this wrong? Oh, Deb, we've got to bring it to the national attention. This has to be put under the spotlight. How this came to my attention a number of months ago, I was approached by an ambulance officer in my electorate, local fellow, and he came to me and he said, Steve, I'm going to jobs all the time and we're finding people who have committed suicide and they've got notes beside them explaining they've gone through the family court system, they've gone through a domestic violence system and they're taking their lives. And I think we can't lose any lives in this country and this is all about protecting the family unit. That's what our policy is all about. Well, the figures on domestic violence are very stark. We know that one woman is killed every week in Australia by a current or former partner. When you look at those hard facts, it's not men who need protecting here. Well, Deb, we know the court process at the moment is absolutely looking after most people, but we can't deny the fact that brothers, husbands, uncles and fathers are killing themselves on a daily basis across this country. There is a number, and I'd love to know exactly what their number is. Anecdotally, I'm being told it's 21 that are killing themselves. We know that there's 2,151 people committing suicide in this country every year. You know, that equates to 41 a week, and a large percentage of those people essentially could be these people who are affected by domestic violence who go through the family court system and these people just can't cope. So I think men and women and the children, they're all important and we have to protect that whole family. And if we don't look after the family unit, where are we going as a country? All right, well, let's clarify your policy. If a court hands down an emergency protection order against a father because of concerns over domestic violence, do you believe that his visitation rights should be restricted? Well, any, anybody who commits a violent act against his partner or her partner and the child absolutely should have no access to children whatsoever. What this is about, this is a new policy, so it's not retrospective. This is about moving forward and it's about taking into account if a person has committed any violent acts against uh, their partner or their children, absolutely, they won't get access. That's very clear. That's dot point three. I think if you read them exclusively for each dot point, you could say, well, maybe you haven't got this right, but if you read them inclusively, it's a full grab. It catches everything. We want both people to go before the court because the courts have to be the safest place in the land. If they're not, we've got a bigger, a bigger problem there than domestic violence. But both people are grown up. They should go before the court and they should work out the differences there. And we want the children and we want the family to be united as possible. But in some cases, that just will never happen. But we need the ones who are taking their own lives to have that opportunity to have their day in court, to speak their piece. And if this can be reconciled, that would be a great outcome. If we save one life, that's fantastic. If we can save hundreds of lives, that's the best possible outcome that we could achieve through this policy. And by putting this under the national spotlight, that's all we can ask for. To save lives is what it should all be about. All right, and just quickly, we know the election is looming in Queensland coming very soon. One Nation is polling very strongly. Do you have a target for winning seats? Deb, we're going to do the very best we can. We are, we are putting people before politics. And I think there's a change all over the world. It's not just about One Nation. It's a global phenomenon. People have had enough. They've had a gutful. And, you know, we, we are going off the Richter scale of rules, regulations, laws, taxes, electricity costs. Mm. People have just had enough and they want... Governments are going to look after them, grown-up governments. All right, well, we'll closely watch that result. Steve Dixon, thanks for joining us this morning. Deb, thank you for your time. Have a great day. All right, Carl. Thank you, Deb.